so just an update video on the 400. So, you can see I got new valve covers on it. And the reason that being is this little guy right here. So I'm still not complaining over the motor. I still love it. Blueprint was great. But I started hearing, you know, a clatter on the driver's side, on this side. And you'd almost think like the valves need to be adjusted, but I mean, it's hydraulic, so I'm, I'm not sure. But anyways, um, so decided to pop the valve cover off and see what's going on. And this little roller had popped off the top of the, uh, the rocker right there. I'll have to find the other one and add a picture at the end of it where it come off. But um, thank the Lord, it was just sitting on top of the head. It never made it down to the motor. But with that being said, you're like, well, what do you do at this point? So went to a mechanic shop in town. Uh, they checked the thrust on the crank. They cut open the oil filter, checked the oil pan. Everything, again, was clean. Um, so at that point, Blueprint just took over, and they sent out a whole new set of roller rockers. So we replaced all of them on both sides. Um, everything's good now. Uh, the bad news is that with Blueprint, if you don't have your motor installed, like, you know, we installed it in our garage. If you don't have it done by a um, certified mechanic or whatever, they don't pay for any labor whatsoever. So that costs a little bit of money. Um... If I could do it all over again, what I should have done when I realized this had happened, I could have, I wouldn't have been able to check the, the thrust or whatever. I don't know how to do that. Um, but I could have cut open the oil filter. I could have taken off the oil, you know, drained the oil, looked in the oil pan. I could have done all that and saved some money. I just, I thought maybe they cover some of it under the warranty, but they don't. So, you know, I was responsible for, for paying for all of that. Um, but again, Blueprint was helpful. Well, even when I called him, the guy I talked to on the phone, he's like, hey, go get your car, bring it home, and, you know, I can walk you through putting your new rollers on and the, the specs and all that. And again, I should have done it, but I already had it towed in to a shop at that point um, and had it done. But again, they worked with Blueprint. Blueprint talked to them. They, they sent the parts to their shop, got it all done. Everything's fine now. It's not time and the garage is closed. So I'm not going to fire it up, but it sounds just like it normally does. Everything's good. I just need to get underneath here and clean it some, wash the car. I'm going to take it this week and get the AC charged. I had toyed around about potentially pulling off this uh, factory air and doing vintage air, you know, and putting on that black delete plate. But I just can't bring myself to do it. I think the factory air is ugly. I'm not going to lie. Like when you pop the hood and you go to a car show. Uh, and it takes up a lot of room. Even, you know, adding these, you know, valve covers. I have a set of tall valve covers over there. And um, I couldn't even use them because you see it's just so terrible. There's no room. But I just can't bring myself to tear up the factory air. I just can't do it. It works. It worked good. Uh, it leaked out whenever we put the new motor in. So I don't know if it was just the twisting around with the uh, compressor and everything or if it's got a leak in it this time though they're going to run the dial they'll do all that stuff and try to find it at uh what's well, called max radiator shop but anyways they'll they'll do that so i'm going to just have it charged and and then again lord willing just drive it this summer have fun still plan on getting a uh, rear end eventually but it's it's no big deal i need to get a rear end for the 71 nova uh, but again, if I get a rear end for this one, then I can take this rear end out and put it in the Nova. The Nova don't have the horsepower this one does. Plus, I could change the 10 bolt and make it more like a real uh, Super Sport would be, since this isn't a real Super Sport. Uh, or put a Ford 9 inch into. But uh, so for people who have wondered on the blueprints, like I said, there's an update. This little piece did come off. Again, my dad's car, he's got, you know, the same motor in, no issues. Uh, this car's probably got somewhere around 2,500 to 3,000 miles on it now. Uh, we put the motor in last March, and I've driven it a pretty good bit. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know why that happened, why this faulty one, this piece happened at all. I don't know. Lord willing, it don't happen again, but it's there now. Put a new power steering pump on. Uh, called March, because that's where the kit's from, and they give me the, the number for that. It just, the, the old one, just when you go slow, just wouldn't turn right. Uh, 
I know I, I thought I'd got all the air out of it and everything, but it just wasn't right. But this one's working fine. Um, yeah, I don't think there's uh, anything else on this one to say. Tried to beat on the headers a little more. Get it off the uh, steering box. It's hard to tell in the picture, but there is a gap there. There's no problem, no more there. And they're ceramic coated headers, so it's not going to put too much heat to it. When I put the new pump on, I figured I'd just make sure I'm not going to boil that. But, uh, yeah, because I don't think those are in there. No, they're not. And Dad's car, we're putting in a Muncie four-speed. He had that T10 uh, in it. But now we've we've already got it in there. We just got to get a yoke uh, that will attach up to those splines. And then we can do a video on it.